Another really important new area that's coming out of the work on temporal processing, as it might relate to language and reading, um, really is in the area of music uh, and the, the role of musical training on, um, on aspects of cognition. And this work is coming from looking really at potential differences between individuals who have had professional or ongoing musical training um, for many for many years and those who've never had musical training and then looking at their different cognitive and perceptual and linguistic and reading skills. And so that's a whole growing new area of science that's extremely interesting. And uh, we've just recently um, completed a series of studies using uh, functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, in which we were, were able to show that professional musicians actually um, process information differently, auditory information differently in their brains than those who are not professional musicians or who are non-musicians. And what's really interesting, it's turned out that the um, aspects of their processing occur in speech and not only in auditory perception, which you might assume would be improved by musical training, but also in various aspects of speech processing, language and reading. And um, the final piece that pulls that back into temporal processing is the finding that the same areas of the brain that are involved that are different in those individuals who've had musical training versus non-musicians are also um, enhanced for rapid auditory processing. So kind of a long way around, what that suggests is that rapid auditory processing might actually be being enhanced by musical training and that might be another way in to um, enhancing some of the fast for word programs is through um, enhancing the musical components of it, which would also make it much more interesting for kids, I think, in many ways.